Hey guys, Meira here. So eSIMs have been getting really popular lately, whether it's for travel, switching carriers more easily, or just getting rid of the hassle of regular SIM cards. And that's because they're super convenient. But here's the thing. Not everything about eSIMs is perfect. There are a few downsides that a lot of people don't really talk about. And if you're thinking about switching, you should know what you're getting into. So in this video, I'll be going over some of the biggest disadvantages of an eSIM. Things like carrier limitations, switching phones, security concerns, and more. And I'll also talk about Saley eSIM, which is what I use and why I like it. So by the end, you'll have a much better idea of whether an eSIM is actually the right choice for you. That said, let's get right into it. Okay, so an eSIM is basically a digital SIM card that's built into your phone. So instead of physically swapping out a SIM card every time that you travel, you just download a mobile plan directly to your phone, and that's pretty much it. There's no tiny SIM card to deal with, no ejector tools, and no need to go looking for a SIM right when you land. Now, while eSIMs are a great option overall, they're not perfect. And one of the biggest issues is that not every carrier supports them yet. Some smaller providers, and even a few major ones in certain countries, still require a physical SIM. So before switching, it's important to check whether your carrier or the one you plan to use actually offers eSIM support. Another thing is security. While eSIMs can't be physically removed like a regular SIM, they come with some risks. Since eSIMs are fully digital, SIM swapping attacks are a potential concern. This is where hackers trick your carrier into transferring your number to another device. Also, because there's no removable SIM, it could be easier for carriers or authorities to track your device compared to a physical SIM. And finally, most eSIMs are data only, meaning they don't support traditional phone calls or SMS texting. So if you need to make calls or send messages, you'll have to use apps like WhatsApp, FaceTime, or Telegram. But let's be real, that's how most of us communicate anyway these days. So for a lot of people, this isn't really a big deal. With all that said, not all eSIM services are the same. Some make the process a lot easier than others, which is why I want to talk about one of the best eSIM options I've come across, Saley eSIM. And if you want to check it out for yourself, you can download the Saley app and use my code GVUTECH at checkout to get an exclusive discount. All right, so Saley is a global eSIM service designed for travelers who need a reliable and easy way to stay connected in over 200 countries. It offers a variety of flexible data plans, so whether you're visiting just one country or traveling to multiple destinations, you'll always have access to fast mobile data. On top of that, it comes with built-in security features with things like ad blockers, web protection, and virtual location routing, which help reduce tracking, block annoying ads, and protect you from unsafe websites, all while saving you data. Plus, you only need to install the Saley eSIM once. So for any future trips, all you have to do is buy a new plan and you're good to go. It's a set it and forget it kind of thing, making your travel experience a lot simpler. Okay, so after looking at some of the downsides, you might be wondering, why do I still need an eSIM? And more specifically, why Saley eSIM? For me, it really comes down to convenience. I travel a lot and before switching to an eSIM, Dealing with physical SIM cards was such a hassle. Either I had to find one at the airport after landing or rely on expensive roaming plans for my carrier. But with Saley, I can set everything up ahead of time. So the second that I land, I have data without stressing and without waiting. And all I had to do was download the Saley app, pick a data plan that fits my trip and install the eSIM all in just a few minutes. And what I loved is that I didn't even need to change out my physical SIM card which if you've ever tried without that tiny SIM tray tool, you know how annoying it can be. I mean, I've broken plenty of earrings trying to pop it out in the past, but with Saley, there's no need for that. You just install it once and you're good to go. And when it comes to the downsides of eSIMs, I found that Saley actually helps avoid a lot of them. One of the biggest concerns with eSIMs is that not all carriers support them, but with Saley, that hasn't been an issue for me and most carriers support eSIMs. Plus, Saley works in over 200 countries, connecting to multiple networks, so I never have to worry about whether my eSIM will work. Another thing that I was worried about before switching was what would happen if my phone broke. 
since you can't just pop an eSIM into another device like a physical SIM. But Saley makes it easy to transfer your eSIM to a new phone, so you're not stuck without service. That was a big deal for me because the last thing I want to deal with while traveling is being disconnected. Then there's the security, which is a concern for any eSIM. But what I like about Saley is that they actually build in extra protections like the ad blocker, web protection, and virtual location routing. These help cut down on intrusive ads, block harmful websites, and add an extra layer of privacy, which is especially helpful when using public Wi-Fi while traveling. It's not just about staying connected, it's about making sure your data stays secure too. And even though there's no SMS texting or traditional phone calls, I personally don't see it as a big deal, since I use things like WhatsApp, FaceTime, Telegram, and all these other apps anyway, so to me there's really no difference. If you're someone who relies on regular phone calls, then yeah, that's something to consider. But for me, Saley has been a great option because it's simple, reliable, and just makes staying connected way easier. So wrapping up this video, eSIMs aren't perfect, but are they still a great option? Absolutely. Like anything, eSIMs come with their downsides. Not all carriers support them, switching devices can be a hassle, and traditional calls and SMS aren't always included. But the convenience that they offer makes the trade-offs worth it. I personally really like Saley, and if you want a fast, affordable, and simple way to stay connected, Saley is a great option. It saves you from dealing with expensive roaming fees, sketchy public Wi-Fi, or the hassle of finding a local SIM card after you land. Plus, with its secure connection, built-in privacy features, and flexible plans, you can just enjoy your trip instead of worrying about your internet connection. At the end of the day, if you're someone who travels often or just wants an easy way to stay connected, an eSIM, especially one like Saley, is definitely worth considering. And just to remind you one more time, if you're thinking about giving Saley eSIM a try, you can just download the Saley app and use the code GVUTECH at checkout to get an exclusive discount. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.